Hello everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day. I'm already laughing because I'm having fun. Uh, this thing, the Behringer CT100, is something I've been carrying around for 15 or 20 years. And uh, in fact, it sits right there on my desk and is available to me at all times. And this tests things like XLR cables and quarter inch cables and, uh, you know, RCA and MIDI and all that kind of stuff. And it is just an important piece of kit if you do any kind of audio work. And so, uh, you know, I've learned the hard way over the years, rule out the cables first. And so um, one day I was scrolling through Amazon as one is apt to do, and I found this. Um, and I asked the company to send me one and they were so nice to do it. This, first of all, is the CT20 cable tester and it is 50 dollars on Amazon, which is, in my opinion, a steal of a deal because it tests HDMI and small um, DINs like your little S-Video cables and stuff like that, standard USB cables, Ethernet, banana jacks, we've got uh, PowerCon, XLR, Speedcon, uh, XLR5 for things like DMX. We've got various types of MIDIs like 3, 5, 7, and 8 pins. We've got RCA, quarter inch jacks, um, just all kinds of stuff that this thing tests, as well as it has its own like little key on the back uh, explaining how to do it, like how to do the HDMI test and some of that. So it just, I mean, this just makes Makes me laugh. I mean, this is so amazing. Just to combine this and an Ethernet tester in it is, I mean, I'm sold to begin with, but um, I do have to disclose they sent me this free of charge and I asked for it and I wanted it and it's every bit as glorious as I hoped it would be. Um, so uh, I've got some various cables over here that we can just kind of play around with. Um, it's to start off, it runs on a nine volt battery just like this one does, um, except this one you actually don't need a tool to get it out, which is kind of nice. So the battery just kind of comes in this little tray and you push it in and you snap it in and it's good to go um, now the first thing they recommend is that you put it over to position 11 and uh, check the battery and so there we go we know that the battery is good now it has this uh, I think it's a 10 11 12 position switch over here um, and so uh, the one difference is something like this uh, because it only tests a few things is kind of testing everything at once. So I'm gonna grab this and plug it in here. I don't even know if this is actually still good, the batteries. Uh, but yeah, so you can see here, and that's that's a good connection there. You've got these three, and then when you're at an angle, like, hey, that's good, we're testing the uh, TRS on that. And so everything looks good there. Um, so that is kind of nice that it tests all of them at once. Um, but this thing, makes up for that in versatility. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this same cable. This is a stereo cable, so it's got three connections in there that we're gonna check. Um, and so we're gonna plug one in each side. And then as you can see, we're gonna go over here to number one, number two, number three, and obviously nothing on number four now. Um, for me, I actually do kind of like that because as compared to this one, because there are different patterns that this one shows up. And I, you know, it's, if I hadn't done it for so long, it would be easy, it'd be difficult to kind of remember what they all mean. Uh, this one, you're literally just testing one conductor at a time and it tells you on the back, like what you should expect. Um, so, I mean, just absolute bonkers. Uh, I've got a three and a half, uh, millimeter stereo jack here and same deal we've got zero two one three you know just go right through it um this one is that stereo or mono that's another stereo one we don't need to test that um this is banana plugs and this one i think actually beeps which is kind of cool so yeah it just tells you hey your banana plugs are good, which is awesome. I mean, just awesome, like so handy. Uh, so you can do the USB and it's kind of cool. I think you can do it whatever way you want. Um, so I can go from this end to this end and plug it in. And you'll see here, we've got conductor one, two, three, and four. And there's a lot of USBs that are power only that won't have the data signal in there. Um, so, I mean, this tells you that yes, all four wires are there and yes, all four wires are connected straight through. And that is one thing. I don't know that I brought a, a, a crossover cable, but in the event that there was a mistake, uh, you know, you could see that three and four would be flip-flopping and that's kind of cool um, to be able to do. 
and so again you can reverse it and same deal um just dead simple um unbelievably easy to use let's grab an hd or a uh, an ethernet cable um you know I, I feel like everybody should own an ethernet tester and again the ethernet testers are automated which is kind of nice um but this really you know for testing things at the bench this is pretty dang sweet um so as you can see here we've got conductor one two three four five six seven and eight and they're all working fine um i didn't bring any speak on connectors or power con connectors down i do have an xlr here i don't know that i ever have any broken cables and that is one thing this thing taught me if a cable is bad i either fix it immediately or get rid of it um you know and i don't spend time plugging in cables that don't work uh, so we're going to put our XLR cable over there, and that should just be three connectors, and there we are. One, two, and three. Uh, and again, it would be the same thing if you're using PowerCon or SpeakCon or, you know, five-pin DMX connectors or as, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Just very, I mean, just a very, very ridiculous tool. And the fact that this exists and this exists at this price is just kind of mind-boggling to me. All right, for completeness, I decided to grab a couple extra cables just to play around with them. Uh, I've got your standard RCA cables that we can obviously test one at a time here. And you see that we've got conductor two and one. Then uh, I thought I'd go ahead and grab one of these DIN cables. This, uh, I guess that could be MIDI or a uh, AT keyboard connector. So uh, let's plug that in. I think that'll work. Not 100% sure that that fits. Yeah, there we go. So, uh let's plug that in here now i did look this thing up it is going for about 60 dollars now there are imitations and other versions that have less um connectors on them as you can see they show there's a few variations over here a through k um and so this one's pretty popular the f but i i mean i feel like if you're gonna do it get the k it's it's maybe 10 bucks more and you can do every last little thing on here except for the eight pin speak on which uses um which is a different style. But anyway, so we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five there. Now, one thing I thought would be kind of interesting is um, things like Commodores and these old computers use a lot of these kinds of things that look the same, um, but might have different pinouts. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to see if you plug this in. Um, and I know one of them actually puts 12 volts out of one of the pins and you can blow crap up with it. So, um, you know, if you wanted to know what's what, uh you can come over here and let's see so uh see this is uh two and one are connected here and let's see so there's going to be a ground so four and three so what that's telling me is that on this side um on the bottom pin four is connected to the second pin on this one and uh, if you come back here pin two on here is connected to the first pin on this so um and then we should get you'll be able to figure out which one's ground because that'll be the same on all of them so yeah so i'm guessing pin one is going to be connected across on all those and then as you put a different one in here you're going to get a different combination that works so um again you can learn it not just for uh not just for diagnostics but for tracing stuff like that out now i've got an hdmi cable laying around here somewhere because this thing even tests HDMI. Um, so we're going to pop an HDMI in here. And we're going to pop this in here. And you'll see that as we come through these, we can test all 10 or so. And then what you do, um, you won't get anything on that one, but you test this. And now you've got these red LEDs with this button down. And you can check to make sure that all the rest of the connectors because this has more um connectors than this thing has pinned which is just i mean come on um there's also is that usb c that's mini uh there is also mini hdmi there which is or not mini hdmi mini uh usb which is pretty cool so um anyway this thing is i mean crazy cool so 
So I was able to test all these things and more with this thing. Um, I do want to thank the MFL store on Amazon, their Mint Forbers lighting. And uh, they have all kinds of DMX lighting and all kinds of really cool specialty products on there. Um, and we're just so kind and so nice to work with on this thing. Um, I've had just a blast playing with it. Uh, again, right now, I think the price on Amazon at the moment, delivery tomorrow is like 61 bucks for this thing. And uh, highly recommend you at least check it out. And um, yeah, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.